So I am super excited because just yesterday morning, I figured out how to do something regarding voiceovers and recording audio that I've been trying to figure out for months, and that is how to record audio myself right to my computer, which I can remove vocals from. And this is something that has bothered me for months because up until this point, in order to remove vocals for my audio, for my voiceovers, I have relied on just going to YouTube, seeing if I can find a clip that somebody else has uploaded of the scene, and then using Audacity to remove the vocals. And sometimes it works, and sometimes it doesn't, and usually it doesn't sound that great. So I've been trying for months to come up with a way that I could just record the audio myself of any scene from any source online, like Netflix or whatever, to just get the audio myself without relying on somebody else. And I finally yesterday figured out a way to do that. It took me so much research that I figured I would just go ahead and film a really brief tutorial just in case it can help anybody else. And before I start, I do want to say that I use a MacBook Air for everything regarding voiceovers and recording. I have no idea how you would do this on a Windows computer or for those of you who use tablets or phones to record and edit. I have no idea how that would work. This, it might apply, it might not, but I am using a Mac computer. So anyway, the first thing you want to do is download Soundflower. It can come right offline. They have a version for Windows and Mac. It's free. It downloads right to your computer, and it's basically just a recording software that goes on your computer, and it doesn't require any like external source. It's really easy to download. I'm not going to show that because I already downloaded it, but you should be able to figure that out pretty easily. So once you have that downloaded, the first thing you want to do is go down to Audio MIDI Setup. I have it stored down in my dock. If you don't, if you just go up to Spotlight Search, you should be able to type it in and find it. But you want to open that up. And then over on the left-hand side, you can see all of your microphone and audio devices listed. So you want to click on Soundflower 2CH, go down to this little cog options button and click use this device for sound output. So then after you do that, you want to go up to your top bar, open up Audacity, then all you're going to do is hit the red record button and then you can go right into your scene on Netflix or wherever you're playing it from and start playing the scene. It is going to sound like silence. You're not going to hear the scene playing because it's channeling it right through Soundflower's mechanism. So it's not going to be playing out loud, but it is getting picked up in Audacity, as you'll see once we finish. So when you're done, you just um, hit stop on the recording and then you can see it is all right there on the Audacity track. So then you just want to get your sound back to the way it was before, its initial settings. So you want to open up the audio setup once again, go back over to devices, go to built-in output, go back to that little cog and switch that back to the sound output, just like it was before, and that'll just restore it to its original settings on your computer. You have it in Audacity, what I always do is I just trim off the first couple seconds and the last couple seconds because it is just silence since you weren't recording yet. So then once you have your audio wave, you can listen to it. I just wanted to wear something, a purse. Why is he so angry? So that's just right from the scene itself. And then after that, you just do what you normally do. Make sure the whole bar is highlighted, hit audio track, split stereo to mono, and that's going to just split your two tracks. Then highlight the bottom track, go up to effects on the top bar, and hit invert. And then when you play it back, you'll hear that the vocals have very cleanly been removed. So then you just go up to File, go to Export, Export as a WAV file, and then enter your title and save it. And then you can import it right into Final Cut Pro or iMovie or whatever you use for editing, just like you would any other file. And then you can go ahead and put it under your scene for your voiceover and you will have your audio with the vocals removed. So I hope this was helpful. It certainly changed the whole game for me. It made it so that I can pretty much do a voiceover of any scene that I want without having to worry if I'm going to be able to get the audio. So hopefully this was helpful. If it wasn't clear enough or you have any more questions, feel free to ask and I'll do my best to answer. But again, I hope this can be helpful for some of you like it was for me.